Sando, it's Hello. been a while, mate, yeah. since we were at a match day together. Funnily enough, the last time we were talking outside of Old Trafford after the game was the corresponding fixture. Only two years ago, roll reverse, we beat City 2 0. A lot has changed, mate, in that time. Yeah, I know. I was smug as well at the time. <laughs> at the time I, all these Oli Outers at the time, I was thinking, sitting there thinking, hello. Hello, Oli Outers, how are you? Do you know what I mean? But uh, it's difficult now. I, I think you could consider me one of them um, now. I don't necessarily I've subscribe lot, to mate. that. Yeah, yeah, it is. And I, I don't necessarily subscribe to that Oli Out um, hashtag, that, that Twitter. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't yeah. like that reactionary style of, of fan, really. But. Um, I don't think that we can really progress with him as a manager. I think he's done a fantastic job. I do, I do think he's done a great job thus far. I think he was a good transition period going away from that Mourinho Van Gaal style of manager. I think coming out of that was good. Um, and, and going into Oli, bringing back that youth spirit. I know we had it under Van Gaal, but he was really bringing that back under Oli. And, and I do really like what he's done at the club, but going further, I don't think he's got it in him. Um, I, I think with the level of invest investment that he got over the summer, we needed to see a progression. And that was always my thing. Under Solskjaer, I was, I was always saying, you know, if we see progression, then I'm happy with it. The first season, sixth, that, that is a you know a difficult season to really judge him off, but we beat PSG and all that sort of stuff. It was a good feel at the time. Next season, was it third? I'm thinking, progression, I like that. Next season, second. Okay, progression, we're seeing semi-finals, we're seeing finals, but what we've seen you know what, it's not only even the last couple of weeks, mate, it's the whole season and, exactly and sort of that, the back mate. end of last season as well. It's easy to talk and bemoan certain things that's going on at the club when you see what you've seen on the pitch. It's like four own games now, mate, one goal, one point. Well, mate, and it's the whole season, mate. It's the whole season. Exactly that. Like I just said then, it's not like only now because teams are better, are they showing us what we really are? But this has been the same style even through some of the games that we've won. Wolves. Southampton we exactly drew, that, exactly that. Newcastle we didn't even play, we, we blitzed them for what 20 minutes but actually it wasn't 4-1 like yeah. you might think it might be, even Leeds that went 1-1 at one point and we was all sitting there thinking hang on where's this going and then obviously we, the floodgates opened up and if you're going to beat anyone 4-1 or whatever it was it's going to be Leeds yeah. isn't it, 5-1 it's going to be Leeds so that isn't really um, the, 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 the significant result that it might have seemed at the time so yeah it's been like this the whole season, there's no even like with the, the team, the, like the setup, the, the formation, everything. We've got seven defenders on the pitch. We're sitting there. Jake, mate. Mate, there. yeah. Jake. We're sitting there. Me and my mate Matt, we were sitting in the East Stand thinking, this, it was like five minutes in and we're thinking the only way we're winning this is we had no out ball, right? So we're thinking, yep. lump it up Ronaldo, right? You get the ball, Ronaldo. We'll win a free kick and then we'll lump it from there into the box and get Ronaldo on it again or like and Maguire on it. And that really did seem like the only out ball, didn't it? You know, Greenwood every now and again Sorry. would look to make something in behind but he was isolated most of the time as was Ronaldo Bruno didn't look up to it but what can you do when you've got everyone behind the ball and even behind the ball like when we had that many players behind the ball I still thought we were going to concede uh, you know if it wasn't for De Gea being no. like he was against Arsenal and that, that, that game yeah, that, that was a Liverpool you know, scoreline but for De Gea mate wasn't yeah it? yeah and I, do you know what I think it was some people were saying just now that they think it was almost worse than Liverpool I disagree I don't think so I think that is Sort of seems like a trendy thing to say. I said it was worse. Did you? Yeah. I, I think it's a brilliant thing to say. I don't <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think it's worse. I don't think it's worse. I think if you lose 2 0 uh, or 5 0, that 5 0, honestly, it could have been 10 that game. Whereas this, this could have been 5, but it wasn't. Do you know what I mean? And, and that's how I felt um, about it. That's what we've succumbed to, mate. At least it wasn't 10. Well, who was it? It was uh, someone came back in uh, for the second half and went, feeling optimistic this week and watching the second half like that. And it was just like, we was all bad. Me and my mate was just chatting a load of bollocks throughout the whole of the second half because it was just boring to watch. No quality on the ball. Donny van der Beek, people were cheering him when he came on. And I biggest think I, cheer of the day. Biggest cheer of the day. But Adam, I don't get it. No. I'm Dutch, right? So I, I'm Dutch, so I, sh I should have a connection to this guy. But I know he's not played a lot, but he came on give a foul away and we almost went 3-0 down because of him instantly. I, like, I know the moment you mean there, mate, and I was dreading it for him that City scored in that moment because I didn't want it. I thought it was bad, but honestly, 10 minutes again, it's not really helping him. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, that's, dead, is it, mate? that's true. Sancho did nothing again. You can say you can make a similar argument, yeah. but, but having said that, we have seen players come on and, and do bits and... and I remember, I think Gallo came on against City in this, this fixture that you're talking about. Yes. Like, and he came on and held the ball up really well and did loads of good things. And so I know we were up and I know that it's easy to play in that scenario as opposed to today. But I'm just not seeing enough out of Sancho. And I'm not saying sell him. I'm not saying he's rubbish. I'm not saying any of these things. But at the moment, he's not doing enough for me to be yeah. starting. And Donny, the same applies. There's too many good players that we've got, even though we're rubbish at the moment, for Donny to be starting. So that's where I stand on it. Going forward, mate. Um, 
Well, there we go. Sam yeah. on the street is back, mate. Yeah. So I'm going to roll reverse yeah. on you now. I asked everyone else the other day, mate. You all in or you all out now, mate? Yeah, all right, listen. Do I think... I don't like to say the Ollie out thing, right? But do I think that um, Oli should be our manager at the moment? Probably not. Going forward, probably not. Um, I think, I don't, again, I don't like the term sacking and all that sort of stuff because I like the guy. I think he's done a good job. But if the board at Manchester United, uh, it was to come out tomorrow that, that we've moved on from him, we've let him go and, and we're going to go on to, uh, you know, probably bigger and better things, then do you know what? I wouldn't be angry about it. But I'm not going to sit here and say, Oli out, sack him, he's rubbish and I don't like the guy. Do you know what I mean? Because I do respect him and what he's done for us as a manager and as a player. But yeah, I don't think he should be our manager going forward. I don't think he could take us uh, to, the, to the levels that we, we need to be. Could he, could he change my mind at some point and win the league here? I don't think so. But you know, it's football, anything can happen. So I might, I might have egg on my face at some point, but I think we need bigger and better. And... Any better, Sander, mate. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Cheers for coming on, mate. Good to see you back. Of course, mate. Likewise. Cheers.